This whiskey right here is a great collaboration between two institutions in the Irish whiskey world. This week, let me tell you about W.D. O'Connell's exclusive whiskey for the carry out off license in Killarney. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and like I said, this week I'm looking at the W.D. O'Connell exclusive whiskey for carry out Killarney. So let me get it into the glass and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Now, first off, I will say, I did get this bottle for free from W.D. O'Connell because I appear on a podcast called The Middle Cut Podcast with my good friend, Matt Healy. It's all about Irish whiskey, good conversation, talking about new trends in the industry, new releases, and just a kind of a, a good conversation between two people who are very passionate about whiskey. Also, it's two mats, so it's a great little fun adventure. I'll put a link to it up there. I'll put a link to it down below. They do, uh, the podcast was sponsored by W.D. O'Connell when they released this whiskey. They didn't ask me to do a review of it, but I really like the whiskey, so I am doing a review of it. So I just wanted to disclose upfront, I did get the bottle for free, but that hasn't influenced me in doing my review at all. Now, first off, who are W.D. O'Connell and who are Carrie O'Clarney? So I'll go through them one by one. W.D. O'Connell are an Irish whiskey merchant and bonder. They are founded by Dockey O'Connell and it's an interesting little company. They're hoping, I think, down the road to have their own distillery, but right now what they're doing is they're sourcing some fantastic whiskey, giving it maybe a different finish, maybe giving it an extended finish than the original distillery would have done and bottling it under their own label. If you check their website, and I'll put a picture of their website there, you'll see their store is fully sold out, so they are getting some really, really top-notch whiskies, and they are releasing them. They generally only release one cask at a time, and when they do, you can be pretty sure it's gonna be a fantastic whiskey. So that's who W.D. O'Connell are, fantastic company, one to keep an eye out for in future, but carry out Killarney, they're an off-license, a liquor store, a booze shop, if you will. They are one of the best uh, whiskey shops in Ireland, though, because they do a lot of kind of exclusive bottles. They do a lot of kind of store picks. Store picks are common enough in America. They're not really common in Ireland. You don't really see them, but uh, Carry Out Killarney, they're the Carry Out off-license chain in Killarney. They've got some fantastic people working in the store and they do some great store picks. So for example, John Fleming in the Carry Out off-license, he has a store pick of a Buffalo Trace Barrel. It's the first time any uh, shop in Ireland has had a store pick of a Buffalo Trace whiskey. So it's interesting enough to see them spearheading that in Ireland and they've, kind of, they've been around for 20 years. So this bottle kind of marks their 20th anniversary with a store pick exclusive to them. So let's talk about the whiskey. It is a seven year old single malt whiskey originally coming from Great Northern Distillery where it spent the first part of its life before being sent on to W.D. O'Connell for a final maturation and a final interesting finish because they did a great collaboration with Carrier Killarney, especially for this. If you remember, I just mentioned Carrier Killarney have a store pick of a Buffalo Trace barrel. Well, they didn't just take the bottles, they also took the whole barrel, sent it over to a brewery in Ireland called Western Herd Brewery, where it was filled with Imperial Stout. The stout was matured in that cask, giving it some really, apparently some very, very tasty notes before the cask was sent back to the uh, carry out off license. They gave it to W.D. O'Connell to finish off their whiskey. So they took that roughly six year old whiskey and took put it until it was seven years old in that cask, giving it a very nice kind of full flavor on the whiskey, but also a nice kind of collaboration between the two brands because uh, the Cario Calarni kind of store pick, that barrel comes through all the way into the whiskey. It is a cask strength whiskey as well, coming in at 55% ABV or 110 proof, but it's a very, very nice 110 proof. So I think that's enough talking about the whiskey. I think we should go in for the nose on it. Cheers. Okay, immediately you do get a heavy hit of vanilla coming through the whiskey. So obviously you're gonna get that malty backbone, a kind of biscuity note, but there's caramel and butterscotch coming out here in abundance. And also behind that, you get the darker notes from that stout beer influence on that bourbon cask. There's also, before I go into the stout influence, I'm getting a very nice kind of cinnamon note, but it's not like a cinnamon baking spice. It's more like a, 
like a cinnamon candy, you know those hard candies you can get or the soft candies where they are flavored with cinnamon, not like a red hot, not like a spicy cinnamon, but more of just like a, like a cinnamon candy note coming through, less of that baking spice, more of that sweetness again with that caramel, butterscotch, vanilla, and biscuity note that I was saying there, but the stout influence also comes through. So stout, stout can often come through either as like a, a dark cocoa powder or espresso or coffee note, or sometimes depending on the whiskey, it can come out as like a winter berries, blackberries, cherries, really, really dark fruits, that kind of flavor. And this is kind of a mix of the two. If you think of like a really nice, sweet, kind of tart blackberry that has a bit of cocoa powder dusted over it, that's the kind of smell where you get the mix of that coffee and the chocolate and the berries. It's not too heavily in one or either direction. It's actually a nice kind of mix between the two. And the ABV doesn't really come through at all on the nose. Like it, when I stick my nose all the way in there, it's not really giving me a burn. I'm not really feeling that tingle there. It's overall quite sweet, quite approachable and quite tasty. So let's go into the palate. Cheers. On the palate, you do get the alcohol. You do get that high ABV. Like it's 110 proof, 55%, but it's not hot. It's kind of tingly, it's kind of spicy. It gives you all the flavor of the whiskey without being burning. Like I'm getting a nice bit of warmth coming through, but it's not very hot. That gives you a nice kind of mouth feel. It's quite rich. Again, sweet, biscuity, but more leaning towards like a, a funky malt note rather than just straight up kind of shortbread biscuits that I was getting more on the nose. I'm also getting, again, caramel, like toffee, like burnt brown sugar, that kind of top of a creme brulee coming through. A bit of cocoa powder, a bit of coffee as well. Very nice. I'm gonna go in again for another sip. See if I can get more of those kind of fruity notes I was getting on the nose. Cheers. So second sip round, definitely got more of those like tart blackberries. I said on the nose, maybe like a cherry, not on the palate, more of like a blackberry, that really kind of dark, slightly tart fruit. There's also a fair bit of spice coming through. It's not pepper, it's not fully oak spice. Like there is obviously a bit of oak spice there on the end in the finish. I'll talk about that in a minute, but it's nice, it's kind of spicy. I can't really put my finger on what kind of spice it is. Maybe it is like that kind of spicy cinnamon note, but there's a nice bit of spice and warmth coming through on the palate, but I think it's time we look at the finish. Cheers. Okay, as you kind of, you swallow it, you take a breath, that sweetness, that vanilla, the caramel, it kind of hangs around there, almost feels like it's rising up because the berries, that juicy tarty note, that kind of starts to fade off fairly quickly. The ABV, the tingle is there, but the heat of it is kind of gone as well, leading with that oak spice I mentioned, kind of rising up as well. The dark cocoa powder, the bit of coffee, the bit of espresso coming through. But I think for me, the vanilla, as I'm breathing, I still have that cocoa powder, but the vanilla is the thing that's kind of hanging on the longest, that sweetness, that butterscotch and toffee, that kind of, nice creamy kind of mouthfeel on this. It's not the longest finish on the whiskey, but it's definitely let, heading towards kind of medium long on the finish of the whiskey. Nice and sweet, nice and enjoyable. Like I said, it's a very nice whiskey at 55% at ABV, quite like warming, but not hot and very easy to enjoy. Overall, this is a very, very nice whiskey. I mean, last time I checked the site of Carrier Killarney, they still had a few bottles available. So if you like the sound of it, maybe rush to pick it up because I think there's only about 200 or so bottles of this made from that single cask. So if you want it try it out for yourself, maybe give it a try. I do wish I had the beer alongside it, the stout that was, you know, the, the stout finish for this whiskey because I think that would be a great little pairing. So hopefully I can find a bottle of that beer somewhere, but it was a very, very nice whiskey because I think the fact that the stout finish wasn't overpowering, it wasn't all I was getting, was very nice like that bourbon cask influence definitely came through a bit of spice a bit of oak it wasn't just all about the stout finish it was about the whole journey of the whiskey and i think that made it a little bit nicer now as i said i did get this whiskey for free so maybe not having to pay my own money also helps me enjoy it a little bit more but it's a very very solid whiskey as you can see 
I've drunk a fair bit and I'm probably going to drink a bit more, so I'm going to keep on enjoying this. If you like the sound of the review, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button because I put out whiskey reviews on Wednesdays and cocktail recipes on Fridays featuring whiskey. So if you want to see more like that, make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Sláinte.